One of the things I've liked about just comments you've dropped is the way you read, say, Scarlet Letter is actually a novel of immigrants, that maybe the characters wouldn't have behaved that way in, in a quote-unquote home country. Even a lot of Hardy, especially Tess, a favorite of yours, you can read as a kind of immigrant novel coming from the countryside, moving somewhere quite strange. And to use that as a lens for interpreting what otherwise might seem like strange character behaviors, but reading them through you is actually very rewarding, sort of through your eyes, through your fiction. Does that make sense to you at all? Yes. I mean, I, I think what I'm responding to is the sense of displacement in in those authors, in, in almost any author. I mean, even, you know, Willa Cather, you can read this way. Homer, you can read this way. So many authors, you can read this way, which is why I think some years ago I was asked this question um, by the New York Times Book Review about, you know, what was my problem with immigrant literature, and I made a kind of maybe cheeky remark about how I didn't believe in it, but this is, it wasn't being cheeky, it was just being, it was just saying what I felt was true, which is that this is something I've responded to in literature from the very beginning, mm -hmm. and if I didn't have this response to literature, then, you know, these writers wouldn't have fed and inspired me the way they did, because there would have been a quote-unquote barrier between their experiences and their times um, and, and mine, and that, that shouldn't be the case, right? That's not what literature right. does. Literature does the opposite, and it allows us to cross over those boundaries in a beautiful way, in a magical way.